Mental health is when people aren't able to do everyday tasks because their mental illnesses get in the way. Um, sort of means when you're not independent and you rely upon others because you kind of can't mentally handle what's going on in the outside world. Not having the mental ability to do something or anything like everyone else does, like not thinking for yourself, like you have you have to have someone with you to think. I come on and off every now and again because it's a work drop into and if you're not working you have jobs so you can become isolated. So it does provide a good centre for dropping in, good drop in centre. Um, I've only really got involved with groups this week to be honest with you. Like yesterday I was doing gardening which has been going on I think for a month. I did gardening for an hour, which was very pleasant. Good to be outside, good to be active, good to be, you know, evolved, really. How has this thing to help me? It's helped me in a big way, like, right? It's given me, like, um, support, like, right? Communication skills, like, right? It's also, it's more help me like in socialization like right and, and like within like um it's helping in a lot of ways this centre. It's helping in a massive way over the period of time while I've been here. So what does the centre mean to you? Um how's it sort of affected you and how you are? Well, the centre, I'm a part of the community, I live in Newham mm -hmm. and I suppose coming from a background of, of helping, I do a bit of counselling myself, I'm currently dropping facilitator so it means for me an opportunity to give back to my community and to interact and, and see what I can do and offer the users here. Um, and I think it's good for them because a lot of them have encountered stresses and, and they've had mental illness. And when you're in that position, it's, it's hard to get out of that because you need a network, you need friends, you need family, and some of them don't have that. So mm. this centre, that's what it is for them. And it's like a family. They can come and chill out, have a cup of tea, talk, mm. and let off steam. To go into enough I feel like I understand people with mental health issues even more like before I thought that they weren't independent but these people take it upon themselves nearly every day to go to this place and get help and they do all of these things together just so they have some sense of normality because I feel in society sometimes they're not treated as normal. After I visited the drop-in centre it changed my view of people with mental illnesses drastically because I thought that People with mental illnesses were very sad and depressed all the time when really everyone in the drop-in centre was very welcoming and they made me smile a lot and they were funny and we all just had a laugh and we played games. After visiting the centre, I believe that what I said was wrong about how a mental people with mental illnesses can't think for themselves. They are actually very independent and they um, they're really nice and they like they're not awkward as like what we think that if you're next to someone who's who is mentally ill they'll be really awkward around you they're actually really fun to be around they communicate well Oh, 
I'm rap fantastic, like elastic. I'm flowing with the liquid combined, cause I'm bombastic. I'm thick, I'm high, I'm low. I lose control, fuck the dough. Quick for money, and then I go and flow. Oh God, I don't try to play with any. Cause if he plays with me, then I might just disagree. I've got to remember the head of green and rock the mic. Keep the crowd high all day and every night. Wow, wow. that was good. That was amazing. That was good.